Hello, and welcome to Farthest Frontier. Well, it's been quite a while since I've played this game. Um, it is still in early access, but there was quite a few changes made since I last played it. I mean, I got so far and it was a case of it made significant changes that required a new restart, so I thought I'd leave it for a while and then come back to it once some other updates had probably been done. And yeah, I've done that, I've introduced quite a few things. So for that reason, we're going to create a new settlement. And we get these three different difficulties. I'm just going to stick with the normal one, which is Trailblazer. Uh, for the name, well, you can randomise the name of your town. Ooh, I don't think that's good. Ooh, Wuckle Socket sounds fun. Now, you do have advanced settings. And I'm picking that because I've noticed, like, you can change the map seed, for instance, but... Whenever you do that, it always forces the terrain back to random. But the other things you can do is you can set difficulties, you know, for different things to make it a bit more specific, if you like. Um, I'm just going to leave those on the defaults anyway. Terrain type. Well, these are going to be really challenging, these two, for instance. And even the plane seems difficult because one of the features they introduced was deep mines. And it can be quite a struggle finding them on, on like that map, for instance. You can probably find them on a... Uh, on the Alpine Valleys, but you might then struggle finding like, um, where to plant crops and so on, so I think I'll go with Lowland Lakes. Uh, that's kind of not as easy as the idyllic one, but hopefully it'll at least get me uh, an easier way to you know, get access to all of the actual uh, resources. Uh, I mean, I would have been tempted to try planes, like, but yeah, I think that's just going to be difficult for the the key resources that I'm after, which is to do with that update of, you know, infinite mi mines that you've got providing coal and iron and so on. So yeah, well, we'll try out Lowland Lakes because I haven't tried that one. Uh, map size, I'm going to leave it on medium. I don't want the pacifist mode because, well, then you just don't get the radar attacks and so on. So we'll click on start and that should give us the intro and then we can start the actual set up of our actual town. Okay then, so we're starting off Well, we've got to actually put the town down. So I don't think they're going to be doing anything at the moment, but at least we get to see the whole of the map. And then we end up with like the fog of war, if you will, afterwards. But one thing I'm bothered about is ending up in an area where there's just nowhere to actually build because it's all water. Um, Jeez Louise, there's too much water here. This map, I don't, I don't think I'm going to have like much to be able to do here. I mean, I'm, I do want it, you know, so I can actually create crops and so on, but without any, yeah, without at least any um, where to build, it's going to be a bit of a pain. Yeah, I'm not liking this map at all. I'm seriously thinking of rolling another one. I mean, if, if I scroll down, there is some iron in there. Right down there. But some of the things I want to take advantage of are deep mines. That's kind of pointless if there isn't uh, any actual you know, deep mines on the map. Nothing's jumping out here. I mean, what you can tell is, like, if you, if you have a look at the actual resource, you see we've got... We've got sand here, and it's showing like a little infinite sign next to it. So there's infinite sand there, but... Yeah, I'm not seeing that for, say, like, coal or for iron. So I'm not overly fond of this map here. Let's try a different one. Um, Reroll the map. Okay, let's see what this map looks like. So, I mean, there's plenty of stone over there and there. Ah, that's interesting. That's it's the first time... I've been having a bit of a play with maps. And that's the first time I've actually seen a raider camp. That's another new feature that they added in. This idea of being able to take the fight to the raiders rather than just have them regularly come and smash your uh, house down, for example. Uh, that's just... There is iron there. It's just normal iron. 
I mean, although it's lowland lakes, I do at least want some sort of mountainous area that's got infinite coal, infinite iron, infinite gold, otherwise it's kind of pointless. No. There's some iron there, but it doesn't look like the infinite type. I mean, there's some gold there, but again, it's not infinite type. Well, that would be a, that would be a real pump day. You'd have to. Yeah, you wouldn't be able to get to that without taking the raiders out. I'm just not seeing anything here that's. You know, kind of like worth my while. Because I, 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 I want to take advantage of these new features. Uh, you know, the updates they've added. Probably do that if they're not there. Okay. I'm going to just keep re ruling my map then until I find something useful. Right then. I've done a lot of ruling and re ruling, and uh, I think I'm just going to stick with this. It's kind of interesting, I must admit, because there's, there's a restart map option, which I would have thought just reset you back to the start where. It asks you to, you know, decide where the town goes, but it doesn't. It even resets the resources. So you do end up with the same uh, map uh, as such, but the resources become completely different because when I first found this one, I had pretty much most of what I needed. So, for example, we've got on here, we've got infinite gold up there, infinite uh, iron, uh, somewhere there's infinite coal. There it is. Down there we've got some infinite coal at least. Now, I do have a, a raider's camp. I wanted to test that out. So I wanted to make sure there was at least one of these. The, there was originally four. Now there's only one, which is odd. And I've restarted the map a few times before I was reloading the map. Or uh, re-rolling it, which presumably actually involves creating a new seed. And everything gets redone but even restarting the map can change that um, another thing is this one does have some of these little places where we can hopefully go and search and find relics because I wanted to try that out as well you should be able to buy them but as long as you've got one of those that's fine I haven't found any deep mines for sand or clay which is a bit of a shame but as long as I've got some, I mean, there's some clay over here, for instance. Uh, some up there. I'm pretty sure I saw some somewhere. Hopefully it's not where those raiders are. Because that comes in useful for things like, oh, there's some, there's some over there. Yeah, because the clay, clay isn't just used for the building, it's also used for farming and so is the sand. But that's been something I've been struggling to find on this particular map. I mean, having said that, there was actually, I think there's a, yeah, there's some sand. But at one point, that was an infinite mine of sand, which is odd. So I say, yeah, it's a bit deceptive that when it gives you options to load and uh, re roll to restart a map or re roll the map. It can still completely change everything for you. But in any case, we're going to go with this one. So I'm just. Uh, I was just deciding where to actually build a town centre because this looks pretty good because there's a lot of um, bird eye land down here which will be good for the farms. When I first landed on this there was actually a raider camp down here. Now, it's, now there's all of these wolf dens which is going to be a bit of a pain. Pressing the escape key for some strange reason. Um, I mean, I want to leave those sort of like areas untouched if I can, but you've got to build your houses somewhere. And the, the town centre isn't of much use, to be honest, as far as I'm concerned, because it's, I mean, it's good in the early game for like defending from, but it's, it doesn't bring any benefits to the actual houses, for instance. So I end up building the houses further and further away. 
that's one of the reasons I think they introduced this feature that you can put your map, uh, put your town somewhere else. You can literally demolish it and rebuild it somewhere else. So I need here. Uh, yeah, it's a bit of a chicken egg. I need flat land to build on because, from what I remember, the terraforming on this game is kind of sucks to be honest. At least as far as I'm concerned, I never found much use for it. It was far too much effort. With other games, you just tell them to flatten an area and it does get flattened. This is like, you know, kind of flattened, but it's... Yeah, I always found a problem with that. I think other, other people have found a way to, to do it and do it properly, but I just always struggled. Anywho, um, ugh, decisions, decisions, because... I think to begin with, I think I might just leave it where literally they picked, to be honest. <laughs> Because it'll give me access to the farms later on. I'll also be able to get quick access to the water where we can start to get fish. It's not a great deal of fish there. I mean, we're not getting access. I think there's yeah, there's one up there where we get a bonus for fish. There's a little pond over there as well, so that's a possibility. In fact, if, if we had a decent terraforming system, then I could flatten this sort of area where it's not so fertile and then leave this for the, the farms, but... It is what it is. I mean, hopefully we can change things after because I know you can, as I say, you can literally move the actual town at some point. So I think what I'll do is I'll, I think I'll build that way in terms of the housing. What was there? Yes, there are some boars there. Oh, that was, was that infinite uh, clay there. Oh yeah. Ooh. Right, I think we'll go here. Right, off they go. Now, hello, I've got a housing shortage. Yeah, I know that. Right, I think I'll start at least building a road. Oh, it's all wonky. Oh, don't want to go with that like that again. We end up with wonky roads. It doesn't cost me anything to do that. Uh, housing. So these are locked. So I can't, I can't do anything until they actually build a town centre anyway, to be fair. Once they build that, at least they can do something. Why are you not going somewhere? Oh, there, I've got to click that. Right, go and plonk yourself down there. Right, game speeds. That was it. Right, so... Yeah, it's an interesting choice, that. So, one is a half. Two is times one. Three is times two. And then the P number four is times three. Right, I'll tell you what, I may as well, yeah, there's nowhere to put the trees anyway, so. Storage, yep, I think we can't do anything until the, get the town centre up though. So, and, yeah, we've got the classic fog of war where we've got no idea now what's where, but as far as I remember, in this, this direction we've got a big mountainous area, so at least we can start to get access to the deep mines later on in tier 4 because I think it's tier 4 you need to be oh I remember this so ah yes yeah, so we've got auto refill as set to default so that's useful so they, if people get ill or they um, die or they leave or what have you it automatically refills jobs basically whereas before it was a pain in the neck having to manually control it yeah, all we've got is a flat tool job. It's annoying. I much prefer games where you've got a tool to say, you know, lower this ground or raise this ground. This is just a flattened job. And it was, I remember you had to do it in like kind of strips or chunks, small bits at a time. So yeah, I think the idea was to find a very low spot, for example. And then start working from there if you wanted to lower things. So yeah, wasn't I wasn't overly impressed by it. Uh, resources. So harvest resources. So you've got to mark them for harvest before they can get collected. So you can toggle that or press the that's the G key H key H for harvest. Right. So we haven't finished. 
you telling me about that? I haven't even got anywhere to put it. Actually, having said that, they could harvest it. We've got that storage card. I forgot about that. Yeah, I wouldn't care. I moved it, but then I forgot about it. Right, so I forget them to do just trees and... Any stone. There's no stone in that area, but... Oh, interesting. Interesting. So we didn't... We've got no stone in here. Interesting. I thought we would have had enough resources to actually build a town centre. Ooh. Yeah, I'm sure you're always able to build the actual town centre. Well, it's somewhere in the back of my mind it's a case of, well, you can build a town centre. These are not dead trees. Surely we cannot harvest dead trees. No? Oh, at least we've got some ox pulling a little storage cart there. Seriously? I've only just started. Why are you telling me these things? I don't need to know about heat waves. They don't exist. It's all made up in the imagination. Hopefully. Otherwise we're in deep duty. And why are they not chopping that tree down? There's a big blown tree here. Why is nobody chopping that one down, for instance? Oh, it's a thicket. Okay, well maybe they'll be for twigs then. Twigs and sticks. I don't want to chop bushes down because they'll fill off food. Oh, right. So they need. So yeah, I don't really see much for the town centre. You can get information about things, for instance, which is useful. But it doesn't, as far as I recall, it didn't contribute any any bonuses for any houses nearby. So there's not much incentive to actually build your houses close net there to the actual town centre unless you know, you're just starting. Housing then. So we can. How many people have we got? I've got 12. We can put. Um, it doesn't say how many people can live in a particular house. So I'll leave a gap. Uh, if we get two of those, we'll see how many. We'll see how many people we can put into a house at least. Might be, might be two or three. We shall see. Right. Oh, yes, they want firewood. As well. So these are the things they need. Oh, interesting. There's still four. So we can have up to four people. Right, so hold on. So we can have four people. So we've got... I need at least another house. Well, I need... I need more because part of the challenge is to well, so R is not so Q and E rotates the camera how the heck am I supposed to rotate the so R doesn't rotate the I'm trying to rotate the building tab well that, that makes a lot more sense yeah press the tab key That doesn't make sense. Why? Oh no, has it overlapped that? Bloody duddy. I've overlapped that. Oh, little sticks. Right, cancel that. Right, I know you wanted to live there, but forget it. You're going. And you're going. Yeah, could have sworn I left a gap. So I wanted to leave a gap there for the like a road that goes up and down there. I should have probably put it in in the first place. Right, off we go again then. So... Right, so put the road up to there. And then a road down to there. And I'll get them to build houses. There and there. Now, um, amenities, so hopefully it won't come to that. You can get a shrine built. We can get a stockyard built, so I think we'll dump the stockyard over here. Um, actually, yeah, 
Yeah, this is all going to take time. Uh, I'm going to try and do something to flatten the area. See, we've hardly got any people and it takes a lot of time to, to do this flattening. And I haven't even got around to collecting any food yet. <laughs> Water. Water, water everywhere. Not a drop to drink. Does that not come under... Resources. Resources. So if we get them to build a well, so... It's automatically showing me how much... You know, where, where you'll find more water. So over here, you get about an 80... Ooh, up to 90% bonus, but it's a long way to travel. Uh, 62, so it's pretty dry over here. Well, that's not too bad for the 50% chance. Let's see, so that's two, two. Um, little sticks. <laughs> Let's try again. Right, if I put that a bit further out, so what I can do is I can. Oh, it's tab. Why do I have to why do I have to use weird keys? Right, so don't don't build it. Don't build that. That's convenient, it, it lines up with the town. I don't remember it doing that. We'll go that way. And in terms of resources, I can at least get them a well there. Now, they wanted a uh, firewood split, but I'll, I'll wait until we at least get that far. Jeez Louise, where's the food when you need one? So, food storage. So, we've got a hunter cabin. So, if I put a forager stack out here in the middle of nowhere. At least we can get all, a lot of berries here. There's a lot of herbs, greens. Actually covers quite a lot actually. Let's put that there and I'll run the road from their house. It's going to line up there I think. That was always another challenge I ran into was the storage as well. Um, Probably help if I moved you somewhere else. Well, um, rather than sitting in somebody's back garden. Um. Oh wow! Need another four months. Supply wood and six six houses. It's a lot of people. Right, I'm not chopping trees down because I haven't got them chop any more down. Why is there is there's plenty there to chop down. Right, so we need I need a fire splitter. So that one oh that's a thought. I mean it tells you about desirability. So that one that one is has a, a very negative desirability. Nobody wants to be living near one of these. So you can see if I put it close to the actual houses it drops the desirability of them. So it's better if I put it further away. But I need them to finish off this terraform. Oh, that needs stone. I've not gathered any more stone yet. Yeah, it's because I've got them busy doing terraforming. Although that's questionable. I mean that... See, this is the thing I don't like about the terraforming. I seriously don't understand why they can't do something about it. All it does is flatten, but it doesn't it doesn't genuinely flatten it. I mean if I pick out this area, for instance, it doesn't end up flat. It just ends up flatter than it was before, which Yeah, I don't know. There's a lot of other games I've played and they've got a proper like terraforming system. Where you just basically you know you you pick a um this type of terraforming you want done does that with this all you've got is that one option and that's it very very 
basic and it yeah it's a real shame because the game's been out for a pretty long time and yet for whatever reason it still haven't done anything about it i mean there's not a choice of Yeah, it doesn't give me any choice in terms of what I can do with that tool, it's just that's it. You can flatten something a bit, but you, you can't genuinely flatten it. So if I go to there... This is, and this is the other trouble though, is it's like when you've got so few people, it takes so long to do. Right, so I've got enough room for 12 of 16 people enough food for about two months I think so they've done that bit of terraforming but it's not it's just not flat that not by any stretch of the imagination I mean the road the roads all wonky which is I mean the carts don't seem to mind <laughs> it's quite funny because you'll see the the people walking up and down the up uh, the actual roads but they don't i mean that's a bit better it's better should we say but it's not it's not good enough that's my that's my problem i want to see i want to see results here right so if we go in oh and, what, and that's the other thing that's annoying them it tries to be clever. I don't like the roads bending around the corners. An OCD thing. <laughs> right, so if we go in, let's say that direction. I'll put a the file. I'll have to get used to these keys. The trouble is, I'm going to be playing other games, and you've got to keep. The, everyone's got like sometimes the. Q type is, is the inventory key, and sometimes it's in this game it's a case of it's the actual one for rotating it. Right, hmm, it is what it is. Right, so that's the splitter because we need that because there's a big shortage of of wood. Looks like they've almost got round to finishing that well up. So I should be able to get that. What else do we get access to? So food production. Uh, we've got the forager shack, so what about a hunter? That's definitely useful early game, but... I mean, I yeah, don't really want to go near the bow. Hmm. Yeah, I should have thought about that. Uh, do we have access to fishermen yet? Yeah, so I can put a fishing shack here. So that gets me a productivity of 110. So you don't build it on the actual pond. But I can move its its work area afterwards. So put it, say, there. So that's 110%. Now that one, that one gets a much better bonus because it's next to a, a sh what looks to be a shoal of fish. I think I'll build that on. I mean, I don't want to. I mean, that's some. I think they're like some sort of medicinal herbs or something. Oh, tab key. I need to press the tab key. Right, which one is that one? Right, so if we go by. That, just extend the road out without touching the. I think I won't touch that. We'll build a, a fishing shack. Oh, I keep pressing the I keep pressing the R key because I'm used to Q and E to rotate. Right, there. So once it's built, I should be able to extend its work area. So at least that's going to get me some fish. Now. I can send people out. I want to see if there's any. I don't want to go in that. That's too too risky. I need to find out if there was some 
Iya. Oh, that's wolf territory, isn't it? Yeah, there's wolves down here. Ooh. Okay, so somebody's come out to here and there's nothing there. I should have paid more attention to it when I was placing the, the actual lair. Uh... Oh! Where? Oh, boars. Have I got any... Person. That's good. Uh, good for the wolf, not good for the people. Uh, don't and I don't have many of them. <laughs> That's never good. Um. Oh no! Hopefully, I can get all of these people to help. So while they run, you. That was too close for comfort. Ah, so there's some deer down there, but that's a long way to go. Are you kidding me? Don't tell me it's winter already. Jeez Louise, this is not good. Right. Um, right, so you build crop fields, a smoke house, a fishing shack. Is that built? Yeah, yes, that's built. So, put that way. So, the work area, if I widen that out, that puts it at. That's weird, though. So the best I'll get is about 130%. 40. That seems to be right about my limit, then. 140%. Maybe I'm not say how many. Oh, you. Grr. The trouble is, in wintertime, these freeze over. Yeah, this is the trouble. We've spent so much time like terraforming and what have you that this is going to be a struggle. It's like, what? Right, we've got somebody at least working on that. Right, so they don't have any stone, so uh, I need more. Well, I'll go for all of them. Well, not, not the bushes in case I hit any of the actual plants. So we've got 12 of possible 16, though there's not enough. There's not enough logs. I mean, I could assign a person to focus on that. So, amenities and services, a graveyard. I mean, a graveyard, fortunately, we can, we can rebuild another one. Uh, 525. Jeez, Louise, that's a lot. That's a lot of time to rebuild. But I've got to give them something. Uh, now, a shrine, you need gold. Ooh, what's that? Oh, yes, temples. Yes, so these are the new things that got introduced. So there's a temple. Uh, a crypt as well. Right, so a stock. Right, you haven't even built a stockyard yet. I'm getting to build a stockyard then. Uh, what else? We had a smoke house, but we haven't got a. Yeah, I don't have a. I don't really have much in the way of. Like hunters at the moment. I mean, hunters are coming useful for the, the ability to deal with raiders as well. Mm. I mean, that one's got. There's both sighted over here, but it's not particularly high. So there's not a plentiful supply. Whereas you see, there's plenty of deer down here. Deer down here? Okay. There's some up there as well. 
I've got to be careful because I, I, I do remember down here there was, at least might have been on that other side where there's a lot of wolves. We've already run into wolves up here. What else have we got that we can do? So, we've done them. Defences, it's a bit early to be putting those in. It's one thing I've that bothers me is those wolves that you hear in the background. I'm pretty sure that's just psychologically. Unless you can hear them that far across the map. It's like, because I don't see any. I mean, I'm, I'm expecting at some point bears will start coming in. Not enough to last three months, but spoilage is one month. Right, so I've got four houses, so I've got enough for a bit of extra capacity. For some strange reason, people are very cheerful. You know, you know whatever. Each, each to their own. I mean, to be fair, I've got some storage in the form of that, but it's better if you have a proper storage. So they're going to beaver away and chop that lot down. Right, so we've now got proper storage. Let's see what we can do, because if memory serves, I can actually... Yeah, you can... Yeah, I can, I can actually, that's what I did like, they introduced the ability to set limits on what you, not just the item you, you store, but if you click on it, you can actually set a limit as to how much you'll store, uh, which is extremely useful. So I'll leave those two to get on with that. Oh, yeah, that's a shame. Lost access to some eggs there. Um... Right, so, to get access to other things. All oh, right, so now that we've built that storage, we can build these things. So, so there's a storehouse for the more production-y stuff. Then there's the root cellar for food. So these are neutral items. So the, the folks don't particularly care about these ones in terms of putting them off for desirability. Uh, I've got a horrible feeling that I should have made this wider, but I don't know. Oh, blue bar. Tab. Tab key. Tab key. Press the tab key. Uh, right, put that end. So that will store the main construction sort of items, but that stores a whole ton of other things. Um, I may as well move you out a little bit. Go and, uh, go and put yourself over there. I seriously don't like those wolves howling. So we're in the midwinter. I don't know. See that the pond's now frozen over. As much as I don't like this, I don't see any alternative. Foobar. I say Foobar. Right, actually, if we do... Oh, it's not letting me do that. You used to be able to... I'm sure you could literally drag the mouse out to find any... Like deer, for instance, that were wandering around you. It's not, I'm not seeing... Unless it's because it's just because it's outside my field of view. As you can see all this sort of area this is a kind of like field of view because it's all highlighted so i know about this area but it's in darkness so i don't know i don't know if that's got something to do with it aha yeah if i hold the shift key down it keeps the the road straight that's useful so if we get a hunter's cabin over here. That's miles away. Because we haven't learned markets yet, so we can't... I don't really want them sort of having to trail all the way back there to deliver the food, but... I don't have much alternative. Um, keep that straight. And there's another one down there, so that's a... Yeah, they're both plentiful ones. Let's 
see if when they show up they'll actually start to see the deer maybe. At the moment they're just building... Oh there you go. No it's not doing that. So I wonder if that's a feature then. Because like if I drag over you can see there's a little deer down there. But when I drag over it I'm not seeing it and I used to be able to do that. Oh no, 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 it's that. You press that, that's it. You press the actual um, icon and it highlights the deer. <laughs> okay, that, that was a good thing. But again, maybe it's only when it only works when you're in view, I suspect. Oh wow, we're out of. Right, so we're into the spring again. Right, in that case, you're areas there. I mean I may as well take advantage of these fishing areas except I don't want a forager shack on another fishing area. Um, yeah so that one 120 percent Plump that one down there. Now the one thing that's just dawned on me is the fact that I don't have probably enough people. It's like... Yeah. I need more people. So the next tier is you need eight houses, a market, wooden planks. So we're not at that point yet. So I might be stretching myself a bit too much here. Ah, there you go. So now we've opened up the fog of war. Let's see more of these little deers. But I've only got 12 people. I think it, I remember it was saying you needed a certain amount of. Um, food storage to attract more people. Wow, you can see those lightning strikes look pretty brutal. And still haven't got round to building a graveyard. Oh no, that's something I can do. I think you can set. So that's the resources that you've got. Village professions. Yeah, we can set how many are labourers, for example. How many builders? So, well, six labourers, and I suppose those in the builders are all going to be tied up. So I've given them tons of stuff to do. And this is it's going to take forever, but hopefully I can get them to get if we can get that up and running and get the. Um, Get the hunter's cabin done as well. We can start getting the food up because I think it was six months. I think. Yeah, it's interesting. There's, there's like a lot of different types of buildings you can make, but there's a dependency on other things. So there's. Um, hold on, hold on. Right, so. That's amenities and services. Storage. So they're all tier two. Ah, there you go. So the saw pit. So you need the saw pit to be able to produce the planks. So if you want... So these are all tier ones, but you can't have the tannery without a storehouse and a basic well. Cobbler shop needs the saw. So there's a lot of things hinging on other things. So I'm trying to remember where the marketplace was. I thought that came under Neil's house, trading post, school, rat catcher, temple. Because I mean, this all goes through. Oh, there it is there. So that one. So that's a tier one. So that one needs the saw pit as well. Right, where this? Where's this? Ooh. I need more people to go and deal with that wolf. I don't like this. Um, I 
Ooh, that was a close call. That was a seriously close call, that. Look at that, the amount, amount of effort that needs to go into turning this into a graveyard. Jeez Louise. Hold on, when did that turn up on the road? I don't remember that being in the road. Not again. Right, all of you, except... Some kind of hope and he'll run. You. Yeah, until we get things like guards and the... Uh, Hunters, I'm just going to have to get the actual people to do this. And I don't have a healer yet either. There's nobody chopping the trees down. Yeah, I've got trees to be chopped down. Can I go and get you to chop a tree down? No, I can't. Hmm. Go and prioritise that. Doesn't it doesn't give me an option to prioritize it while I'm selecting it. Oh, for crying out loud, where are all these pesky wolves coming from? <laughs> At the moment, all he can do is just run. I mean, he could kind of like kite them back to, to here, and then you could there. Uh, Basically, garrison people effectively and sound the alarm, as it were. Right, so they're busy beaving away, but there's not enough logs, that's the trouble. Uh, how much is left of this? It's now at 12. Yeah, so a lot of this is just hinging on them. Once I've finished that off, it should free things up. I mean, how many. We've got two people committed to that to building this. Out of a maximum of two. It's interesting because it didn't need that many uh, actual stone. But it needed a ton of time to do it. An absolute ton of. Oh wow, 4956 clear. That's a lot. Or at least it feels like a lot. I've almost finished it. Come on. Come on. You can do it. Nearly, nearly there. Almost, almost, there. Not that you actually want to be seeing people going there, but I mean, it's kind of inevitable, to be honest. Yeah. Right, so once I've got that out of the way, then hopefully they'll start chopping the blooming trees down. Right, so that's out of the way. So now they're chopping the trees down. Good, good, good. So that just needs one log. That needs six. That one needs six. So that'll get us somewhere. So if memory serves, it was the... It was the saw pit. So... What am I putting that there? Except it's... Oh, the area's not flat. I mean, I kind of know that. That was the whole... Part of the problem. Right, go out to. I'm gonna have to get them to waste time trying to flatten things. See if we can get at least something out of this. As I say, it doesn't. It doesn't end up like flat. It just ends up flatter. From what I remember, I think it was about if I do them in like these little strips, it does kind of end up a bit flatter. Whereas if I just tell them to do an entire block, it just doesn't seem to do much. So I think the idea was start at the lowest point, 
you know, where you want the flattest point out of it. And work your way from that. And they seem to... Mm -hmm, I don't know, maybe if they pick that as the lowest point and they try to level everything out, but the trouble is it's the surrounding areas, obviously. Like, yeah, so, I don't know, maybe, they, maybe it's trying to, like, calculate how do I get everything as close as possible to being flat. Go in direction. This feels like a lot of waste of time that I'm doing here, but... Eh, needs must. Because I wanted, I wanted to try and get it reasonably flat. And from what I can tell, you can get it flat. You can flatten places if there's something already there. It's like in this case, we've got like this little stockyard. So I think you can still flatten it while the building itself's there. Hmm. Definitely do with more people to help, but <laughs> it's early days. Right, I think I'll leave that there and I'll get them to finish that off and then I'll... All I need is the soap pit. Oh, is that a sunflower? Oh, that's interesting. That's the... We've got like a little sunflower growing out there. So even though they're, they're like chopping down trees, we've got little individual plants and what have you. Yeah, there's a lot of detail goes into into these little um, buildings that get created. Each of the houses is slightly different. It's interesting, like the the field of view that you get as well. You know, as you're zooming in on on little buildings, because you can see like right at the back how that's kind of like out of focus. This is very much in focus, so I love the way the devs have done that. Wait a minute, are we into another year again? What the heck? I've got most of the time I've got... Oh, oh dear. Wow, that's embarrassing, isn't it? Yeah. I think they're going to starve to death at this rate. <laughs> what the heck? That wasn't the plan. I still haven't finished that. Tell you what, can you? I'm wasting so much time getting them doing the uh, the terraforming. It's coming back to bite me. Who's breeze? Right, I'm gonna have to deconstruct that. Uh, nope, that's just clearing. rebuild that again. Little sticks. No, I don't want to do that. I'll go that way. That's a bit better. I'll go that way. Right, so your little area of work is there. So there's, yeah, I mean, there's quite a bit of... There's quite a lot of deer there. Maybe I can go and hunt. Ah, fiddlesticks, so they've... Right, so their work of area is going to be to there, so that's about 140%. Interesting. Oh wow, we're into spring already. We're into spring and we've got no food. Ah, that's not good. Well, at least she's getting... Yeah, so she's getting some food from there. We've now got two fishing sh uh, shacks. Is there another? I don't, I don't know if I've got enough people. I mean, how many? Yeah, everyone's as... <laughs> uh, but nobody, so we've got six labourers left. I can really do with... I'm kind of like reluctant to go out there because that's where the wolves were. Push any further there, we're into bull. You know, could come down to here, I suppose. As far as I'm aware, I don't think. Yeah, I don't think we have a problem with with lightning hitting us. I don't think. I think you can get places set on fire. 
I mean, that's got plenty of greens, plenty of berries and herbs, so that's not bad. The trouble is, it's the distance as well is not really helping. It's a good long way away from the main, main area. But it is what it is. Right, so do we ever get round to... Uh, I don't think we ever did get round to building that. Uh, right, so I need a saw pit, don't I? So, uh, oh, buddy, duddy. Build a saw pit. Tab, tab. Because I mean, the idea is that logs should go into here. They're just going hell for leather. Let me... If I could set a limit, I would. Oh, there we go. Right, so... Right. Let's say 200 tops. Right, I want any more than 200 firewood for now. Because that frees those people up to go and help out as labourers, hopefully. Right, so she's, a, she's just wandering around because she's got nothing better to do. Right, okay. In which case, I need some more trees chopping down. Trees... Uh. Right, go on. Chop, chop, chop. Literally. Right, that'll give them something to do. Uh, I mean, I suppose there's some more stone over here we can take out. I just want to, I don't want to push it too far out because otherwise we'll be running into what were wolves as far as I remember. Right, so off the go they can gather that stuff. We've got our shack now built. We've got a hunter, we've got a couple of foragers. A couple of fishermen up there. So once that's built, it should open it up to other things. Oh, we can all do this already. It's the tannery. All right, okay. So we've got the tannery once we got access. Well, it's one, once we got the hunter. Oh, we're at 16 of 16. Oh, okay. Right, um... So they're just waiting on the storehouse. I don't think anybody's waiting on the tannery. But I want that because they produce clothes. I mean, yeah, you can see if you put it even just there, it's going to pick these people off. So it's... F oh! One of these days I'll get used to the tab key. <laughs> That's it. Mm. I put that there. Oh no, I can't put it there. It's too. Oh, Booba. Go on then. Off you go. How much stone have you got? Ninety. So we're seriously short on logs. At what point do we get the the workshop then? I mean, there's a compost yard. We'll, we'll keep the houses at least clean. There's the basket shop where we're not actually doing anything yet with reeds which would be useful though. Now the Fletcher will come in useful because we want them for producing the arrows. I could have done with them a bit. Um, I mean the Fletcher needs planks off these people so they're gonna, the trouble is they're going to take the planks and they're going to put them here aren't they? Oh no they could put it here. So planks end up here. So if I Put that a bit closer to get the Fletcher built here. Actually, could I put that the basket shop the Fletcher? Ooh, they'll just fit in. Right, forget that one. So they're just around the corner from the storage. Now the basket shop, well, until I actually get any reeds, it's not going to do me any favours. Now the, the compost yard, 
I'll put that out the way because again that's another one that it's kind of essential to have it but it's kind of a chicken and egg I mean these would be better closer to like the farms it's good for the farms when we get into um like the cows and the barns and what have you but you also need somebody to go and get the stuff from the houses as well otherwise it's like you get problems with rats and what have you so the slope the slope the slope is too steep i'll surprise just try and flatten that area if i can Right, so we've got 16. I think we need... We need 30 people. Oh, wowzers. Uh, food. We're actually doing quite well for food now. Amenities and services. Housing. There's nothing jumping out yet in terms of extra things. Big fences, roads and fences. So, I think we'll do is I'll start adding more houses in. Aha, I remember to press the tab key for a change. Right, start adding more houses in this sort of direction. So I'm thinking like production goes in this direction and further downwards. Housing goes in this direction. Although, yeah, then I've got this area to work with. The fields are going to have to be out here. Which is a long ways away, I must admit. It's not ideal. As far as I remember, at least you can get the markets to help. If they, I mean, like if we have a market, we can get people to come and come down to here, even more up to here, down to here. But we'll see. You can always, I mean, the good thing is you can always shuffle things around. You can move, um, move all these. So that comes under resources. So put that there because the houses at the minute yeah you can see the building up waste so it starts introducing disease all right so they're taking the load so i'm going to set a limit so i'm going to click on that one set the limit for that one set that to no more than 200 i mean what the heck i think I think you can, can you set that? Yeah, you can set that within here, so... I want more than, say... Well, quite like that, it's actually giving you details about what these logs can be used for, that's quite handy. Right, something's on fire, so hopefully they can grab the water and put that out. in time before the fire spreads. Ah, now that's a thought. They need access to water. And it's dry over here. That's a trouble. So that's desirability, fertility. One of them's for water. I can't remember which, but... Uh, a water well... Yeah, 32%'s not good. Just means they're going to have to get water. I mean, they could go to that one, but I can also send them to... That's 40, that's 54. Oh, these are not... These are not flat roads by any stretch of the imagination. That's <laughs> one, it's one thing I always remember. Oh, sh it's spreading. The fire's spreading. No! Quickly, put the water out. Eh, put the water out, put the fire out. Yeah, that's better. Yeah, I always remember having these wonky roads and it looked hilarious when you've got like caravans and what have you going backwards and forwards on the roads and they're not flat. It looks terrible. I mean, oh well, there's a housing shortage. How, how's the how? What? When? How? Who? Where? How is there a housing shortage? We've got six. Well, 
yeah, I mean, I could have told you that like last year. I mean, 16 of 16. Now, the $64 million question is why did I build those two, not just unlock those two? Yeah, brain's not working. No, I don't want. Oh, the roads are going to look weird enough as it is without that. Right, so they're, they're busy making clothes. So what do they take? Tallow, I'm assuming. Oh no, they just take the, the pelts. So they're taking pelts. Using that with the water to produce hide coats. And the hide coats, and oh, no, that's another thing I want to set a limit for. Not that I ever, I don't think I ever ended up in a situation where I had enough clothes. They're always complaining of not enough clothes and not enough shoes so I was always struggling to get things so I think that's where the trade comes in to play where you need to buy that sort of stuff so I think I think the trick is to buy it buy the raw materials produce things and then you get the you know you sell the actual produced goods rather than the actual raw materials but well you can actually uh, get to a point of you know arbitrage if you will you end up if you can get two traders at the same time, one who's who's like selling uh, at a cheaper price than the other one who's buying. That is always possible. Well, it's always possible. It sometimes happens, and it's quite useful. That get yourself a bit more gold. And we're not going to get any of that until we start at least producing a um, a marketplace. Right. So we've got sixteen of twenty. So we're just waiting for more trees. So where's the, when's the work, ah, the work camp needs tier two, because I need that one. That's a lot better, because then it saves me having to keep telling them to chop things down. And ideally you can get to a point of, you can get the forester, then you can get them to, get somebody to plant the actual trees, and just keeps everything nicely ticking over. Somebody, so somebody's actually growing the trees while somebody's, uh, Chopping them down later on. I don't want to go there. I really don't want to go there because the the wolves. Right. What's your problem, mate? You don't have any logs. Yeah. So it says it says up there's a, a lack of logs and a lack of planks as a result. Show curiosity. So last year they produced two hundred and forty meat. Six pelts and six tallow. Ah, no, so they're complaining of a lack of water. So there's somebody, this is interesting because some of these places, places where people actually live. Um, I'll leave them a well. Because otherwise they'll like two reasons once it took us a while to realize that people like these like the, the hunters and the foragers they actually live in their buildings so they don't they don't actually live in a house and then go out to work somewhere they actually live in that place but as you can see like the, the complaining of things like of a lack of water for example it's kind of nuts asking them to go all the way back to here but also then you've got the problems of like fires for instance that would be a, a really long distance to travel to get water to put that fire out so who's that one so she's busy butchering meat okay oh she's just got food and she's got fish and she's got meat so she wasn't carrying anything So this is how much is produced. This is what's in their storage. There's a limit as to how much you can store here. And at the moment, the problem is people are coming all the way down to these buildings to actually get things. So if anybody wants any, any meat, they've got to go all the way down this road, which isn't. It's not practical. Oh, there's a wolf. I'm wondering. How many people have I got here? Let's bring them over to here. 
I want to get that. There's a lot of them, so I... Oh, I think, I think that wolf's looking at my uh, labourer over there. Right, so that's taken care of. Oh no, they've got rabies. Oh no, and I don't have a healer. Oh, fiddly D. That's not good. Anywho. I mean, we're, we're making progress. I mean, that's the thing. I mean, what are we on to now? Year f four. So, from what I can tell, the only thing I've got to do, really, is I've got to get up to having 30 people. I need eight houses, 30 people, marketplace. Then you need 60 planks and 30 stone to upgrade this to tier two. Then it'll start opening up things like uh, the the healer's house who could possibly heal that poor person who's got rabies. I'm not overly optimistic, so it's probably just as well I built the graveyard, quite frankly. But anyway, it opens up quite a lot of other things once you get into tier two. I mean, that's pretty much as far as you can get, as far as housing. They'll, they'll upgrade their own houses and so on. But then it, it starts getting us into the farming sort of stuff. Um, the mining things as well. Better defences so you can start building the walls around you. Uh, I quite like some of these, like the trading post, which is pretty essential. School to educate people, the rat catcher to start dealing with your rats and so on. So yeah, so I mean, it's not too bad of a start. I mean, it took. I think I spent like so much time like rolling and re-rolling this map though. Just to try and find some reasonable resources so I can test things out, but yeah, it'll be interesting to see what the you know what the game's like now that we've got access to all these other features. Of course, that's all for another episode.